Welcome to the iLuca Media Show podcast. I'm Wendy J. And I'm David Tucker. Here, we bring you high performance marketing wisdom that will make you want to reboot your traditional marketing strategies. We bring you fresh, valuable, and actionable marketing tips every week on creating personalized, experience led marketing journeys. We talk about the habits of creating a high-performance marketing team and share specific growth strategies that you can execute yourself. Our topics include things like advertising, SEO, marketing automation, e-commerce, sales, and high-performance growth. Our clients' products have been featured in magazines like Oprah's Favorite Things. For more information, visit us at ilucamedia.com. Hey everyone, this video is about how we prepare for our speaking events. We've had some of our listeners ask us this question and it was 2018 last year that we reached out behind from our cameras and got on stage. (laughs) So a lot of people say that the biggest fear on the planet next to being eaten by like a shark or a dinosaur is getting up on stage and speaking. And you know, for me, that was absolutely true. I'm really comfortable in this space here, behind the computer, behind the camera, but on the stage in front of hundreds of people, not so much. Yeah, we heard everyone like, how do you guys prepare for this? So we wanted to share uh, what we did. So we'll just start with our our coaching and our training because we've hired a lot of coaches and trainers to, to work with. Yeah, the key for us was preparation. At least for me, you know, Wendy is a natural, as you can tell, (laughs) but um, for me, the super preparation steps that we put into the events that we spoke at in 2018 paid off in a huge way. Yeah, some of the coaches that we hired were a vocal training coach. We hired Roger Love. Uh, We worked with Bo Eason, telling your story. And movement coaching was huge. We also worked with a TEDx coach, Nancy Buffington, out there. And she the last one, amazing. last one was uh, Brennan Burchard. We and went, Burchard. we went to World's Greatest Speaker. Spent yes. three or four days immersed in sort of that environment with a lot of great speakers. Yeah, just sort of um, pushing the limits of what is comfortable and what you can do. And what we found that made our speaking event so successful is our rehearsals and all not only our rehearsals but also all the practice from our coaches and just doing it over and over and over not where it feels so rehearsed but in a space where you know the material so well enough that if you are thrown off by somebody out in the audience or a light goes out or a camera gets bumped or the actual setting of the stage when you get there is not exactly what you had expected or planned for, that you can adjust for all of that and make it seamless. Yeah, and so if, if your talk is part of your DNA from practicing, you can absolutely overcome those things. And our last yeah. event was in New England sometime yeah. in November. We were ready, man, and we got there, and everything that could go wrong that day absolutely did go wrong. Yeah, we were in a room that we didn't expect to speak in, and there was a different projector, and we had some audio issues. It was really right. Little... Yeah, the, the projector was projecting almost on us unless we stood, you know, separated, yeah. which isn't really the way and then we, we were. The camera guy too that we had, he was floating, and it was a little bit difficult, you know, where he was floating back and forth. So. And, and at the at the yeah. end of our talk, you know, it's difficult because the room would just ended up being packed because yeah. we were talking about video marketing for the travel industry. Yes. It was a group of people in the travel industry, and this is the thing that they wanted to hear. So <laughs> I literally had people like, you know, sit down right here, you know, right in front of you. So it was uh, it was amazing, and it turned out amazing. Yeah. So if you're looking at doing a speaking event, definitely get involved with the trainings that you need. They are super valuable and schedule your rehearsal time. For us, people are asking, well, how many weeks did you guys practice? And it was about six or seven weeks rehearsal uh, before we went on stage. And we went from having the full speech sort of written out and tacked to the wall to everything written on a couple of different, you know, like easel boards down to some notes to basically I had it on my wristwatch by the time. uh, And it was 
you know, all seven sections that I needed to talk about, we needed to talk about, were down to one word. And you, and could, you could give me that word in my sleep and I'd be like, here's what I need to talk about. And it might be different for you. Everybody learns at a different speed, but this is what worked for us. And Dave and I speak together, we're on stage together. So we have a lot of blocking that we have to work through together because there's two of us. So we just have to know who's saying what, when. And also be spontaneous because we like to be involved with the audience and we realize that the audience is there with us and we also want to make sure the content that we are delivering is teachable but also we're feeling what the audience is really needing too at the same time. So a little pitch for ourselves, right? <laughs> if you are involved in the travel industry and you're looking for someone to come in and generate some energy in your organization yeah. and you want to talk about social media, video marketing. or search engine marketing. Uh, those are the three topics that we can really excel at. Uh, but we're willing to talk about some other things too if we've got some interesting ideas. So yeah, bring it on. Absolutely. So check us out if you need someone at your next event uh, to talk about some uh, marketing, what David's talking about. We are here for you. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, send us a message over at alucamedia.com forward slash contact. We'd love to hear from you. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Boom. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha.